What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerdcast for the next episode of This Is the Police. Boop, boop. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and read some newspapers. We've got Snowfall Paralyzes Downtown Traffic. Okay. Elementary school breaks its only computer. Those real problems right now out in those hood classes. Dinosaur skull found in city dump. When the city takes a dump, you are sure going to smell it. But apparently, there's dinosaur skulls in there. Fuck my life. Well, I mean, your car hasn't been started in two months. You got to give it a. You got to give it a try at least. is just a play with a predictable ending. But I'll take my place on the stage, if only to show them that the people will find a way to support those who want change, even in a city where everything is controlled by a corrupt mayor. The crooks can falsify the voting results, they can arrest us and beat us, but they cannot silence us. And today, for the first time in many years, we have a chance to make them fear us. While acknowledging that he himself is the mysterious Robespierre, Eugene Chaffee has also promised that he will accept any punishment for the crimes committed by him and his supporters for minor offenses and street hooliganism. But, in his words, not before the city authorities are held responsible for the dead in our streets and the millions they've stolen. Eugene Chaffee went on to say that this is the worst time I've ever seen. I hate it when people clap at TV screens and, like, at movies. Like, when you're at the end of a movie and they, like, start clapping, like, what are you clapping at right now? The director and the actors are not in the theater with us. The movie can't hear you. It doesn't need your moral support. Yes, it was an awesome movie, but why are you all clapping? This is a film. It's not a person. Uh, no. You need to come into work. Uh, city officials want to demolish my house because of some bureaucratic error. If I don't resolve the problem today, my family's going to have to find another place to live. Can I have the day off? Yes, but come in tomorrow. We have two stripes to give out. Can I give out another one? No, those are maxed out. Okay. Well, we'll give one to Oshiro and one to Bukarika. Unfortunately, Song decided not to come into work today, so that's what happens. I have no idea who Kraus is. Did I even hire him? Who is this guy? Oh, we have CDs now. How technology upgrades in the period of 30-something days. Ooh. We got RoboCop music now. Oh my god, so we got our 4,000 right there. I'm gonna go ahead and just take it. We got our officer slot. We've got enough room for Officer Gorshkev. Go ahead and appraise my personnel situation right now. We have 8 on that force, and we have... What looks like 11 over here, correct? Yes, 11 and 8. So everybody's gonna have to go to A. So we'll hire you, we'll hire you. And we'll hire you. You will go where you go, and we will get what we get. Today marks the beginning of a great political struggle here in Freeburg. The people, including the cops, will have to decide who they support. Some will remain loyal to Mayor Rogers, but Robespierre has already has a following of his own. Don't expect officers from both camps to work effectively together if you send them out on an assignment. Unfortunately, we can't ask our employees outright about their political views, but maybe there's another way to get this information. They gave me a 10% raise. They gave me a SWAT upgrade. So they can work four times a day now. Suspect escaped, so that's to be expected. Hinero Perez was able to brilliantly pass their exams. They have received a boost. At City Hall, let's go for another officer and for another raise, I guess. Destruction of property. A teenager walked into a furniture store and started complaining to the clerk that there were too many mirrors in the furniture. He's behaving very inappropriately, insisted on arguing, and finally lost his temper entirely. He pushed a woman over and started pounding on all the mirrors with his bare hands, screaming, How can mirrors be real if our eyes aren't real? He's probably just tripping balls right now. Send out a couple of the newbies. So, internally, we don't have our deputy anymore. Inside of our police station 
if we wanted to look at these characters, their political views are unknown, and I was wondering when that was going to become an issue. We don't know their political views. I think we could have figured them out had we had... Oh, I don't know. An investigation traps. Nope, that's not what I need. Five days till those come back through. Policeman funeral. The bishop will bless them. No one is born without sin, but everybody not everybody wants to live that way. My guess is that it's that one right there where you can send them to a party or a barbecue or whatever. I, I don't really know how to eke the information out of them, so we'll just have to pick it apart as time goes along. I'm glad that we started on this shift today because if we had started with tomorrow's shift today, it would have been really, really ugly. We got a suspicious individual at the Everyday Mall. Miss Anderson called in to complain about a suspicious man. He squeezed in beside me next to the yogurt and started acting very strange. I pushed him away, ran to the cashier, and demanded a phone. Come arrest this scoundrel immediately. I don't think that's a crime to squeeze in line next to somebody. Alright, they've managed to catch people there. Ten more points in. I need to get them squared away as quickly as possible. I'm going to let that one go because I'm not sure about it. Reckless endangerment. A drunk man decided to take his young son on a boat ride, but he's having difficulty keeping on his feet. He's going to kill the boy, according to a fearful eyewitness. All right. Send some people out. Recent crime wave as the press talking, and all we can point to is a lot of crappy police work. Send of your men to go talk to the journalists. Tell them the rank and file officers assure the people of Freeburg that there's no need to worry. All right. I guess head on over. Suspicious man was philosophy professor Mr. Zambezi who had forgotten his glasses. He's only trying to make out the price tags on the yogurt. See, make out and make out with. You make out with a price tag, definitely somebody's going to call the police. But otherwise, I think you're in a safe area. You should be more or less uninterruptible in your activity. You know, recently I've started getting up at like 5 in the morning. And it's weird how long a day is when you get up that early. Then again, I don't stay up till 2 and 3 in the morning the last couple of days either. The Frightened Boy is sitting in a boat while his father ties it from the dock. Grab the rope. Man grabs the paddle and starts swinging at police, shouting. He's going to tase him, as usual. Any opportunity to give somebody the old tick, 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 tick. But yeah, it's weird how long a day is when you get up at 5 in the morning. It's weird. Hit and run at Freeburg High School. We will send Numata, a truck with no license plates, ran over an elderly man who was running across the road in the wrong place. Driver pulled back, stopped for a second, then sped away at full speed. Oh, man, he thought about it. He was like, uh, maybe? Send them out. They need the XP anyways, and this doesn't seem like something that Numata should be able to handle it just fine. She's at 1,700 experience right now. Like, holy shit, bro. She has so much experience. Hopefully Aquino gets better dealing with the press or something by being sent out there. I hope he gets better at his job. Vandalism. When she came home from work, Peggy Smith startled some hooded teenagers who were painting graffiti on the wall of her house. Tried to grab him by the scruff of the neck, but he squirmed away from me and ran, little bastard. San Bucarica. Disorderly conduct. Near the main entrance of the building, there's an old man in stinking rags sitting and playing the accordion, singing a strange song. I thought I said shitting and playing the accordion for a second. Like, wow, they're really digging for storyline content. Let pedestrians run crumbsily across the puddles and let the water flow like a river down the pavement. Security at the skyscraper said, we're not going to touch this guy with a 10-foot stick. Yeah, it's in class. I say, please tell me you caught him. Like with Numata, there should really be no doubt. She's like a one-man force. A one-woman force. I like this thing they got going on in the background. It's a little terrifying. It makes me feel like shit's about to go down. What's this front one right here? The good old days with CD players. I had a CD player. I had a cassette player too, a Walkman. Fun stuff. I also had a portable radio. Kids nowadays, eh. They don't know what the struggle was like back then. You didn't get to listen to whatever music you wanted whenever you wanted. You had to wait for it to come on the radio, and if it just didn't come on, well that was that. You get all your friends together and call the radio station with like 10 of you trying to get your song played because it's hard to get through on the lines. 
on the request lines or whatever. Reckless endangerment. Zoo employee had a fight with her boyfriend and hit him on the head with a bowl. He was stunned for a while. When he came to, he discovered the angry girl had locked him in a cage with a bear. Okay. I don't know if that's the right team to send on this one. But eh? Charles Dill or Charles Dill at the port. How much money do I have on me right now? Secret account. I got about 400k. So unfortunately, Jack, I just received a large supply of tobacco, the keystone of my business, but now the porters have decided to go on strike. They're demanding a wage increase, but I won't bow to dirty blackmail. Please send me some of your stronger men to help move the boxes. We're old school friends, and you know I always repay my debts, and I will reward your men well, have no doubt. Okay, I just gotta wait for some people to get back. She's pounding a ball on the bars of the cage, shouting, Mishka, wake up and eat the bastard. Arrest her. She spots the police and swallows the key to the cage. The bear is standing on its hind leg, approaching the guy. Shoot the bear. Blap that thing. I need that many men to send over, huh? I bet something big happens too soon. I bet I get in hella trouble if I don't respond to it. I bet the mayor hits me up right after I do this. Alright, so we got everybody. Let's send class, Hidaka, Bukarika, Matza, and Beard Cell. A massive fight. What did I tell you? This game is so goddamn predictable like that. It is ridiculously predictable. You're like, oh look, here's a money-making opportunity. Let's every single time the entire game give you a conflict of interest. Nope, no nuance. Just every single time you can make money or you can respond to a huge call for 120 days straight. It's just like, it's so predictable. Like every now and again, keep me in my heels. I don't know, put in a bunch of little calls that all require two officers. Like mix it up a little bit, you know? Thanks for the extra side job, boss. Mr. Dill rolled up some really nice cigars for us. We only got six grand for that? Oh, that wasn't worth it. Oh, it's a terrible idea, but I do have 2,500 just with these three officers. And that'll give them time to get back home. Eh, somebody's gonna have to die today. Whatever. The city of Freeburg ain't done nothing for me. We got nothing going. This is a long-ass song. This song's been going for a while. This song's got lyrical content. Female brain no different from male brain. Somebody financed a study to figure that out. Woman freezes to death while waiting to enter fur fur store. When you need fur fur, you go her her. So just in case you're into that uh, Constitution 2000 arcade life, that's where you can go and get it fixed. Okay. Seems like the mayor's a little injured with us right now, and I'm a tad concerned about the way that's going to play out, but who knows. Cats ate some ice cream. Nope. Was up all night reading a book. Nope. All right, off to work, everybody. It's time to do this thing. Spiders and flies. Ooh, they got the synth going on. A little bit of a warble right there, rocking back and forth. We got our rays, which doesn't matter. And we got our police officer, which also doesn't matter because all these officers are terrible. Put them on B. Uh, Grateful City residents for the past several days parked in reserved spaces in our parking lot. The police need to come down and fix the problem. You guys look like you're about due for parking duty. Mr. Boyd, I'm trying to settle a small problem. My deputy, Mr. Higgins, has unearthed some papers that could potentially hurt my career. He's threatened to go public in the coming days. Apparently expects me to turn myself in. It's no trouble for me to deal with the traitor, but I need to buy some time. Would you please send a squad of officers to the office, act like you're performing a search, and maybe pretend to arrest me? Higgins will think the issue's resolved and let down his guard, then I'll stab him in the spine. Sound fair enough? Sounds fair enough to me. I need money right now. We're coming up on the end of the game, and I need to get paid. I need to get paid, like, right now. We're sitting like, 400000 If we get ourselves up to five hundred, we will have beat the game swimmingly. Assault with an offensive weapon. Old friends Mr. Casey and Mr. Perevolov were arguing about how to cook the best barbecue in the end. Mr. Perevolov grabbed a butcher's knife and stabbed Mr. Casey in the ribs. Pun, they should have been in the ribs, not in the stomach. Man's wife phoned the police after she locked herself in the bedroom, fearing for her life. Alright, let's send a couple people out. I don't really know if I need that many people. That seems unnecessary. I don't know. Send them anyways. 
We're on the back end of the game. What's the worst that could happen? What, they're going to downsize my force? Okay, I'll fire the guys that have 100 points that aren't useful anyways. Like, oh well. Thank you, Mr. Boyd. You should have seen the happy face of that idiot Higgins. The guy sat me in that police car. Ain't going to be smiling for long. And as for my gratitude, a little bit of cash for your retirement party. Of course, call me if you need help. 15 G's. Holy shit. Get and pay yate every day yate all day yate. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. What else can I say? We're getting paid every day. Report. Hooray! Assault with an offensive weapon. They took care of it, and hopefully they picked up a couple new recipes. Are Flowers and Perez ever coming back? Child abuse. An inebriated man decided to teach his young son a lesson right there in the pizzeria. He pulled down the boy's pants and started spanking him with a pizza peel. Shad, what the hell is a pizza peel? Told you not to slurp and don't talk back, you bastard. What is a pizza peel? That's not a thing that a pizza has. A pizza has, like, the crust, the topping, and then I don't even know what you call the bread part on the bottom. Maybe that's the peel. I don't know. It's a very confusing situation for me here today. What's this mission from the church? I'm trying to sell out hard right now. Mr. Boyd, I wanted to arrange a holiday for the faithful of our city with popular Christian music to attract the young people. I invited Christian rock groups, the Freeburg Brothers in Christ. They're supposed to be the perfect role models for young people around the world. First, everything went fine. They came and behaved very nicely, as befits humble men singing praises to the Lord. But on the day of the concert, I came out, the lead singer overdosed on cocaine and whiskey, while other members of the group were staging an orgy with male prostitutes. Canceled the concert and demanded the magicians or the musicians return their fee, but they told me to go to hell. The Lord wants you to deal with these worthless hypocrites. Let them know you won't suffer false prophets lightly. Hell yeah, send some people over to rough them up. Maybe we'll get paid. Can't do a whole lot right here right now, but they'll be back in a minute. What's this require? Alarm went off at a premium liquor store. Eyewitnesses report the truck crashed through the back gate of the warehouse. People wearing hoods stormed the area and are quickly loading boxes of bottles onto the truck. Here come the bottles of that Patron, the bottles of that Patron, the bottles of that Patron, and here come the bottles of that Rosé, the bottles of that Rosé. Send them out. Oh, we can't send any support on that one? All right, well... I guess we'll wait it out then, and if it goes through, it goes through, and if it don't, it don't, but I ain't gonna send three officers over there to die. Actually, they might get it. That's like almost 3,000 points. They might be able to make some shit happen. $72, this cheap bastard. $72. Like, what do I even do with that shit? I hope they don't die. Uh, retreat. Public indecency and counterfeiting. Mrs. Hatch called to complain that the gifts department at the mall was selling counterfeit money. Fifties and hundreds hanging right in the window. What kind of world are we living in? We'll see what happens with that one. Public indecency. Visitors at the Corn Monument got a surprise today. Naked woman walked up and began posing next to the monument. Several people tried to cover her with their coats, but she shed them and ran away from everybody laughing loudly. The eyewitness who called it in said she was obviously under some kind of substance. Send Magnamara and rushing. Counterfeiting. What's this down here? Unlawful assembly. A noisy crowd is gathered in front of the city hall demanding the legalization of soft drugs in Freeburg. Pot cures cancer, the protesters are chanting as they defiantly smoke joints. I'll probably send somebody over just to have like a little look-see on that one. And then we'll send a couple people over here with a backup. And that will hopefully work out okay. Send SWAT and the paddy wagon. Off we go. The war against drug continues. When she spotted the police, the naked woman ran up to the officer, kissed him on the lips, and then snatched his service weapon. Knocked the weapon out of her hands and put her face down. Perfecto, we'll get a couple of guys back in the office. And this should be a reasonably successful day? A kinda successful day? Labor union. 
you will know the political preference of the candidates for positions in your department. You know, make sure that the illegal dismissal of police office doesn't cause any problems for you. No urgent tasks from City Hall. Hire a snitch, pay an employee. Oh, we've got a new thing over here. Okay. Give me political views. No, I don't want to buy that. I want to close that off. Can I see their views now? Or does it just happen with people like I'm hiring or whatever? Who knows? It's another one of those unexplained things. Counterfeiting. Department was displaying gift cards designed to resemble dollars, but they were clearly marked not for legal tender. Yeah, that's what I figured. Unlawful um, assembly. Nah, that'll be fine. They got a lot of backup. It would blow my mind if they weren't able to handle their business out there. This should be our last call of the day. Shooting in the ghetto. Well, somebody's going to die because I ain't sending out two officers for that. All right, and we're out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerdcastle for the next episode of DC's Dabalis. Boop, boop. I will see you all in tomorrow's episode. It's been fun, everybody.